Module 6, Reading Instruction of Various Languages and Scripts. Brains are basically the same across languages. Orthographies are not. The capacity of working memory offers standards for fluency and comprehension that are roughly comparable across languages and scripts. Some spelling systems take longer to automatize than others. Spelling inconsistency, more characters, and more complex shapes require more instructional hours, practice, money, materials, and teacher training. This module discusses reading acquisition in various languages and scripts. After completing this module, you will be able to discuss the applications of reading principles in various languages, as well as resource implications for instruction. Expert readers of various scripts read at approximately similar rates, but the amount of time and resources needed to attain automaticity depends on the complexity of shapes and spelling patterns. This happens because the visual system must process more items and must learn to discriminate among complex shapes with minor variations. Complex letter shapes take longer to automatize. More similar letters need more practice for distinctions to be learned. Larger numbers of characters need a longer time to learn. Inconsistent spelling takes longer to automatize. See the example of a French sound, which can have four different spellings. The vast majority of the world's languages are spelled consistently. For languages such as Spanish, Swahili, or Bahasa, individual letters are paired with specific sounds. A child who knows the sound of each letter can easily pronounce the word. Listen to this example in Spanish. Un, e, da, o, make the word nido. Spelling inconsistencies result from historic pronunciation changes. These affect only about 10 languages, including Irish, Tibetan, and Khmer. Unfortunately, inconsistencies affect languages commonly used for instruction, notably English, French, and Portuguese. Some countries have reformed spelling rules, but political and linguistic complexities often prevent this process. Even if the child knows the sound of each letter, they cannot easily pronounce the word. Listen to this example in French. M, mm, O, E, S does not make the sound moise, but it makes the sound moi. The effects of spelling consistency are evident in a comparative study of several European languages. By the end of grade one, European students were reading with nearly 100% accuracy, except in English, French, and Portuguese. The comparative study of European languages also showed the relationship between consistency and early reading speed. Note the big disparity among countries. First graders read fastest in the consistently spelled languages and most slowly in English, French, and Portuguese. Performance was reduced by the many words read inaccurately. The next slides present frequently used scripts and related instructional issues. The Roman, or Latin, script has about 26 characters, about 52 upper and lower case, and it often takes various diacritics and additions its shapes are relatively simple, so it has been effectively used for writing most of the world's languages. Shown is the Germa language of Niger. Anyone who reads the Roman script fluently can approximately read the text. English has become the lingua franca of the world, partly because its grammar is relatively simple. But its spelling system is straining schools worldwide 
and slows down reading acquisition. English spelling reflects pronunciation of the 1400s. It therefore requires instruction for about three years. Students must learn large chunks, such as was, saw, through, as sight words. Teaching all combinations takes three years, and phonological awareness is important. Students must also know sufficient vocabulary to predict likely words that they do not yet know to decode. In dialectical English, it is possible to revert to phonetic spelling. Also, in French, as in Haitian Creole. The Creole of Sierra Leone and the Jamaican Patois have been spelled consistently. Studies at the University of the West Indies have shown that students can become fluent in dialectical spellings first and subsequently transfer to standard English. French has more consistent patterns than English, but it has multiple silent letters. French patterns create perennial difficulties for students in countries like Sub-Saharan Africa. One major issue is the need to apply the correct accents to the text. Therefore, much instructional time is taken up by liaisons and accents. Listen to the only literate sixth grader in a rural school of Niger. Portuguese is used in Brazil, Angola, Mozambique, Sao Tome and Principe, Cape Verde, Timor-Leste. It is rather consistently spelled, but its irregularities confuse beginners. Students must know where to pronounce O versus U, E versus A, uh, Da versus Ja, Sa versus Sha. Listen to a fifth grader reading in Mozambique. In many low-income countries, students learn the English and French languages, along with basic literacy. Inevitably, the textbooks emphasize language instruction, so they teach whole word and whole sentence approaches. Recall your hiragana experience. They must further pronounce correctly words that make no sense to them. Predictably, failure rates are high. Most alphabetic systems in the world are syllabic. Nearly all originated in ancient India and were disseminated to East Asia. They tend to be used for single languages. Syllabic scripts illustrate the human ability to learn from analogies. These scripts have been taught for centuries through orderly matrix recitation. Combinations of consonants and vowels run into the hundreds, but patterns occur regularly. Khmer has 33 consonants read across 24 vowel combinations and other signs, leading to more than 800 combinations. Certain consonants cause vowels to be pronounced differently. Others are selectively silent. Several common words of Sanskrit origin are spelled as pronounced earlier in India, very differently from their Khmer sound. Students need about three years and much practice to learn to read and write this script. Watch this short video from Cambodia.
Ethiopia and Eritrea use a script that was derived from a southern Arabic alphabet. It is a large matrix with some pattern irregularities. Without sufficient practice, students reportedly need four years to learn it. Syllabic scripts have been traditionally taught by recitation of the vowels and consonants in a specific order. These methods are sometimes considered anachronistic. But use of authentic texts early on requires random combinations plucked out of a consistent matrix. Then students cannot derive the patterns without home help and may fail. The challenge is to improve syllabic recitation and ensure that children are focusing on the right characters. One tool for vowel consonant combinations in Indian languages is called Barakari, 12 columns. It is intensely used by the Pratham organization in India. The slide shows the consonant vowel combinations in Hindi. Chinese has a square configuration of characters. The components have spatial relations. Chinese has many words that sound the same, and these must be distinguished. Thus, its writing system offers meaning plus sound. The first character usually gives cues about meaning, and the second suggests how to pronounce the word. Children encode characters into familiar chunks. For more information on Chinese, several references are provided. The Hebrew and Arabic scripts arose from a common source. The related Phoenician script was used to write Greek in the antiquity, and Greek was adapted for Latin and Slavic languages. The Hebrew letters are separate from each other. By contrast, most Arabic letters are obligatorily connected within a word. Beginners may be unsure where each letter or word starts and ends. Semitic languages have predictable vowel patterns, so in ancient times only the consonants were written. In modern times, vowels are marked for beginners, but are typically deleted after the early primary grades. Removal sets students back, and they must re-automatize patterns. To overcome ambiguity, they need to have good vocabulary and grammar knowledge. Arabic has some special features not found in many scripts. It is simple to read when it uses vowels. Otherwise, it requires linguistic prediction. The written text uses little ink and for those reasons, it should be simple to automatize. However, it uses connected letters with unclear borders. Arabic uses many two-part letters, whose parts may be separated by some distance. In handwriting and some print, letters are stacked in nonlinear configurations that students must deduce. Vowels E and O are not easily designated. Arabic texts may be too small for efficient processing. This example shows letters in font size 66, but that only pertains to the tall letters. The overall size and density of the script may slow down reading. Fonts paired with other fonts of different sizes are increasingly used in print. Arabic also faces unusual linguistic complexities. Students must learn its grammar and vocabulary in order to become literate, but the grammar is rarely taught explicitly in school. Diglossia, in combination with script peculiarities, may be partly responsible for poor test outcomes in the Arab world. Urdu Dari, Farsi, Pashto are languages of large countries using the Arabic script. Non-Arabic languages have developed special diacritics to represent consonants, 
but vowels are not well represented. Also, vowels are not predictable in Indo-European languages, and unvoweled text is quite hard to read. Spelling is approximate, and misunderstandings are possible. The Devehi script of the Maldives uses the Arabic vowels in a novel way. It has few characters, has consistent spelling, and uses simple shapes. This is potentially the simplest living script in the world. Many children attain automaticity by the middle of grade one and have time to learn other scripts. Visual and orthographic complexity affects learning time and resources. Small chunks and single letters within patterns are learned fastest. More complex orthographies need more time and money. English is an outlier spelling system that has complicated reading instructions for simpler systems. To formulate policy advice, the resource needs of various languages must be considered. The chances of student success also depend on resources and policy choices.